What's up, breathing people? Let's do 30 seconds of silence to start our Monday, start our week off right. Set timer for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. There we go. Counting All right, down. let's do it. Whew. All right, I'm reading for today is out of Matthew, and this is uh, chapter 16, 21 through 23. It says, From that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and on the third day be raised to life. <laughs> Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Never, Lord, he said, this shall never happen to you. <laughs> And Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Wow. All right, so the Apostle Peter had a passionate heart for Jesus, but he also was rash, proud, immature, and inconsistent. His impulses and his stubbornness are evident throughout the Gospels. Yet Jesus patiently led Peter to a crucifixion of his self-will. And in order that he might experience genuine resurrection, life, and power. And this is from Leighton Ford. When I am still, compulsion, the busyness that Hillary of Tours called a blasphemous anxiety to do God's work for him, gives way to compunction, being pricked or punctured. That is, God can break through the many layers with which I protect myself so that I can hear his word and be poised to listen. In perpetual motion, I can mistake the flow of my adrenaline for the moving of the Holy Spirit. I can live in the illusion that I am ultimately in control of my destiny and my daily affairs. French philosopher and mathematician Blaise Pascal observed that one of that, the most, that most of our human problems come because we don't know how to sit still in our room for an hour. Feel that? Question, what might be one way your busyness blocks you from listening and communing intimately with the living God? Think about that today. Have a great week. Love you all.